Okay, I want to get something clear here. I buy all my blades. I'm not sponsored by anyone. Uh, I don't make commercials for knife manufacturers, okay? These are my honest opinions about the blades and these are honest tests that I do, okay? When I tested this knife the first time, did well. I spoke my mind about it and, and uh, you know, I stand behind it. So I don't get paid to review these knives, folks, all right? This is just uh, something I wanna do for you guys. I love knives. I'm sure you guys that watch my videos love knives. And uh, I think people should do honest reviews, you know, and not, you know, uh, do reviews, cutting water bottles and stuff like that. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but the average person <laughs> that I know, if he's got a sword in his hand, he's not going to cut water bottles all day. You know what I mean? So, I buy all my knives. I'm not biased in any way. I buy what I like, uh, what I think looks cool, and I also buy, uh, you know, of course I buy reliable knives too, but this one uh, just uh, didn't, it didn't make make it. It didn't make, make it through the testing that I put it through. So, uh, you know, just wanted to get that out there. Hey, how's it going? John here again with Fit for Knives. Hey, thanks for tuning in again, guys. Uh, today, I'm going to give you an update on the broken Honshu Spartan Sword. Okay, if you didn't watch my machete video, uh, I had, uh, what was it, four or five machetes. I included this. I know this isn't a machete but I included this in the test because that's what I use this for. You know, I use this to, to cut down small brush, saplings, things like that, clearing stuff out. So I put this in that machete test uh, and review and it broke, okay? Had a major failure here. So I wanted to talk about it and uh, let you guys know uh, what United Cutlery said. So let's get into it. Okay, during the testing, when I was, uh, I was actually testing on my table here, uh, I was uh, cutting into some small branches. I came down onto the branch, through the branch, into the table, and the blade snapped off. From the handle. As you can see, it's a clean break. Um, this is about three quarters of an inch right there. And the blade thickness, it's close to close to a quarter inch thick there. Okay. Now, here's the deal though, if you can see that right there, you can see three quarters of an inch, the entire width where the handle meets the blade is about an inch and a half. Now, why they have this small kind of rat? full tang you know situation there i don't know in my opinion they should have came and just tapered down from the you know large portion of the blade itself instead of this 90 degree 90 degree into this smaller area here doesn't make any sense to me you know that's a recipe for disaster especially using uh the 7CR13 MOV stainless steel, 440, whatever. A blade this size made of stainless steel, you don't want this kind of 
design. No way. I've got a lot of guys that have pulled the trigger on this sword from the first video. And I'm going to tell you, I used, I've used this blade a lot, quite a bit. Never failed. It failed that time. But you know, that's all it takes is one time. You know, if you're in the field somewhere, I mean, you don't, you don't have time for knife failures. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't. Anyway, so I did contact United Cutlery. I told them exactly what I did with the blade. And they replied back that uh, what I was doing was okay. As long as I wasn't hitting things like concrete or bricks, anything like that. Uh, they do have a six month warranty, but they won't have these blades back in stock until after August, August or later. They advise if you buy from another source like Amazon or Bud K or something like that, maybe to get with them uh, on the warranty issue. Now, if I was going to buy this on Amazon, go ahead and get that warranty. I think it's like three to five bucks or something like that. That way, you know, if you break this, you're going to get a refund. And I think that's, I'm not sure how long uh, you have. I don't know if it's 30 or 90 days, but United Cutlery gives a six month warranty on this blade. Would I, would I buy another one? Probably. Um, I wouldn't use it as a machete though. <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you guys um, and update you on the Honshu Spartan Sword uh, and the issue that I had with it. And I hope that this doesn't happen to yours. And you know, I praised this sword and I think with normal use, this thing is okay. Self-defense weapon, absolutely. I said that in my first video. Would I, would I, uh, you know, rely on this knife, you know, with my life? In the first video, I said no, I wouldn't. Zombie apocalypse or self-defense? <laughs> yeah, I would. So anyway, that is the uh, update I wanted to give you guys. And uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this situation. All right, this is John with Fit for Knives. Tune in again. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care.